Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of our host, Major General Todd Wasserman, welcome to the United States Army Southern European Task Force Africa's Change of Responsibility Ceremony. This morning, Command Sergeant Major Charles Gregory relinquishes responsibility of the United States Army Southern European Task Force Africa to Command Sergeant Major Reese Teekel. The host and reviewing officer for today's ceremony is Major General Wasman, Commander of the United States Army Southern European Task Force, Africa. The Commander of Troops is Sergeant Major Sean Horville, the United States Army Southern European Task Force, Africa's G357 Sergeant Major. Standing on the field from left to right are the U.S. Army Europe and Africa's Band and Chorus Brass Quintet, Command Sergeant Major Salvador Garcia Garcia, Headquarters and Headquarters Battalion, United States Army Southern European Task Force, Africa. Command Sergeant Major Christopher Clappin, 173rd Infantry Brigade, Combat Team, Airborne. Command Sergeant Major Maurice Parker, 207th Military Intelligence Brigade. The Southern European Task Force, Africa, Color Guard, led by Sergeant Major Sean Horville, the CTAF Africa G357 Sergeant Major. Command Sergeant Major Rachel Harris, 414th Contracting Support Brigade. Sergeant First Class Ryan Bosch, 509th Signal Battalion. And Command Sergeant Major Jonathan Dion, United States Army Garrison, Italy. Eternal God, our creator and sustainer, we thank you for entrusting to us who wear the uniform the privilege of serving and protecting our nation. Within our formation, you place leaders who ensure our readiness and well-being. The position of Command Sergeant Major illustrates this responsibility like no other. We thank you for the outstanding leadership that Command Sergeant Major Gregory has provided in the CTAF AF and Vicenza military community footprint. He's left an indelible mark of excellence and grace upon everything he's touched. May he move to his new responsibilities with fond memories, enduring friendships, and a profound sense of a job well done. Grant Command Sergeant Major Teekel wisdom and strength as he assumes this awesome leadership mantle. We pray your blessings upon this command and the superb service members, civilians, and family members that make this such a great place to live and serve. For God and country, amen. The change of responsibility is a simple yet traditional event that is rich with symbolism and heritage. The key to the ceremony is the passing of the colors, 
The very soul of a military unit is symbolized by the colors under which it fights, for they represent not only the lineage and honors of the unit, but also the loyalty of, the, of its soldiers. The custodian of the colors is the command sergeant major, who is the senior enlisted leader of the unit and principal advisor to the commander. Sergeant Major Horville, the G357 Sergeant Major for CTAF Africa, will secure the colors from the color guard and pass them to the outgoing Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Gregory. Command Sergeant Major Gregory then passes the colors to Major General Wasserman, the commander of CTAF Africa, signifying the return of the responsibility of which he was entrusted upon assuming his duties as the command's senior enlisted leader. Major General Wasserman then passes the colors to the incoming Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Tickle. The passing of the colors symbolizes the transfer of command responsibility and authority from Command Sergeant Major Gregory to Command Sergeant Major Tickle. Command Sergeant Major Tickle returns the colors to Sergeant Major Horville, who will then return the colors to the color guard, who exemplifies the highest standards of discipline, conduct, and military expertise that go with the responsibility of bearing the flag it represents the Southern European Task Force, Africa. Charge orders for Command Sergeant Major Rhys Tickle. Let it be known from this day forward that the commander of the Southern European Task Force, Africa, has placed special trust and confidence in your patriotism, dedication, integrity, and leadership abilities. Therefore, you are hereby appointed as the Command Sergeant Major for the Southern European Task Force, Africa. Well, good morning, everybody. And uh, thanks, thanks to all of you for uh, joining us this morning. It is just absolutely beautiful here. And the sun came out right on time, right when we were getting ready to pass the colors. So it's a great start uh, today to, uh, to this great day. And so now I'm supposed to read uh, fellow commanders, directors, sergeants, majors, soldiers, civilians, family members, and very, very important to us, our Italian partners and hosts in the Veneto, uh, good morning and welcome. Are you, reading? Are you doing this after? Okay, we'll continue. Hey, I want to offer a special welcome also to uh, a former Command Sergeant Major of uh, CTAF AF. At that time it was CTAF and U.S. Army Africa, but Command Sergeant Major Jeremiah Inman and Vicki, welcome back. It's just great to have you both here. So I do want to thank all of you for joining us today as we bid farewell to Command Sergeant Major Chuck Gregory and welcome his successor, Command Sergeant Major Reese Tickle. It's another beautiful morning here in the Veneto and it's great to once more see the color guard, all the unit formations, and the U.S. Army Europe and Africa Brass Quintet. Please thank all of them, all of our soldiers, and everybody who put this ceremony together. Uh, just please express your, your appreciation with a round of applause. Thank you. These are always such great days um, you know, to recognize our leaders and to celebrate our community. And, and also to share it with our Italian partners makes it a special, a special event. And so wish me luck as I, as I uh, share my Italian. I nostri amici e vicini di casa italiani benvenuti. E un privilegio per far parte della tua caminata. And thank you all for your support, your friendship, and for your graciousness. Grazie. Next time it'll be better. <laughs> it really is an honor to be here today and to be a part of this really, really important uh, tradition to recognize our Command Sergeant Major, our, our, our senior enlisted leaders who are so important to the success and the readiness of our formations. Today we recognize Command Sergeant Major Gregory for almost three years of selfless service here at the U.S. Army Southern European Task Force Africa. The responsibilities of the ctaf -AF Command Sergeant Major are wide-ranging and they are demanding. Our senior enlisted advisor is responsible for the health, the welfare, and the training of a large, a complex, and a dynamic organization. We have people spread across two continents, in Europe and in Africa, in small teams, doing enormously and important and impactful things. The Command Sergeant Major is charged with providing soldiers who are fit, who are ready, and who are capable to meet our required mission of deploying as a joint task force when called. To model and enforce our Army standards across the entire Vicenza military community of more than 3,700 soldiers, 
and to emphasize the role of non-commissioned officers at all levels of leadership. Command Sergeant Major Gregory accomplished all of this superbly. He led by example, with an emphasis on building teams and bringing people together. And he put the interests of the mission and the interests of his people ahead of his own. In a normal unit, and in normal times, a Command Sergeant Major's role is extremely challenging. But what is remarkable is that these were not normal times. And CTFF presents challenges of its own. Command Sergeant Major Gregory led our team with professionalism and with focus through a time of crisis and through a time of change. When Command Sergeant Major Gregory assumed responsibility as our senior enlisted leader in January of 2020, he was eager to focus on the readiness and the capability of our team and engage with our African and with our European partners. He hit the ground running and immediately he traveled to Africa. But after his first trip to the continent, he returned to Italy just as the world was shutting down due to COVID. We all remember that feeling of uncertainty and that, that sense of worry at that time. It's a testament to Command Sergeant Major Gregory's leadership and professionalism that he was able to quickly see this crisis was going to be one that directly affected our people, how and where we work, and our mission. He worked tirelessly across the Vicenza military community to implement and to enforce mitigation measures for the readiness of our people and to ensure the health and the welfare of our community. Now, although I wasn't a part of the CTAF team at that time, I watched with interest from just next door in France, and I was impressed to see the results that Command Sergeant Major Gregory achieved through his leadership as CTAFF had the most effective COVID response of all of the American units stationed in Europe. It was just absolutely remarkable to watch. As the spokesman for the issues of all soldiers, he kept the community informed through regular updates on AFN and in other venues, and he was a steady and very much appreciated and trusted voice in the community at a time when we were all hungry for news and for reassurance. Command Sergeant Major Gregory also focused on continuity and enlisted development, both here and with our partners in Africa. He established and piloted the Army's first virtual basic leaders course, securing approval from the Commandant of the Non-Commissioned Officer Leadership Center of Excellence for a virtual cadre here in Vicenza. In addition to the approval process, Command Sergeant Major and his team had to find space to build three classrooms for our soldiers, and they graduated over 300 students that year, a number on par with annual graduating cadres at the non-commissioned officer academies at Fort Stewart and at Fort Drum, two of our premier training centers for non-commissioned officers. As many of you know, that's a critical course, not just for meeting the numbers of non-commissioned officers that our units need, but building and transforming junior, junior soldiers into sergeants. So thanks to Command Sergeant Major Gregory, no soldier was left behind. His efforts to maintain our ability to conduct this course are reflective of his commitment to people first and characteristic of his ability to bring teams together. Command Sergeant Major Gregory focused on continuity in our engagement with African partners. He wanted to understand what impact we could continue to have and where we could have it. His team developed a plan for how to continue to help our partners with enlisted development and through the very challenging but important realm of military to military training. When the African Land Forces Summit Command Sergeant, a Command Senior Enlisted Leader engagement transitioned to a virtual format in 2021, he actually grew the number of partner nation participants compared with pre-pandemic uh, participation. In the midst of all this, Command Sergeant Major Gregory was also instrumental in helping to steer CTAFF as it transitioned to a major subordinate command of U.S. Army Europe and Africa. That's a mouthful of acronyms. And we assumed training readiness authority for the 173rd Airborne Brigade, which was a significant change for CTAFF, one that required a shift to a more operational and deployable mindset and a new culture. Command Sergeant Major Gregory was a key figure in this transition. He recognized the need to develop and strengthen relationships with all units assigned to the Southern European Task Force Africa. And from what I've seen in my short time here, these relationships are as strong as ever. That's an indicator of leadership. This includes a close relationship with the 173rd. As a career paratrooper, Command Sergeant Major Gregory was eager to, eager to bring back those airborne operations, and he was passionate about expanding airborne partnerships in places like Spain, in Morocco, and in Tunisia. And perhaps most impressive for a seasoned paratrooper, the Command Sergeant Major actually looked forward to more jumps and jumped dozens of times with the brigade. 
And Colonel Klepper can, can validate this. Uh, as the commander of the 173rd, he observed that uh, Command Sergeant Major Gregory jumped more than many of his own paratroopers. And Command Sergeant Major, well, I'm, I'm sure you're going to miss jumping. Something tells me that your knees and your back just might thank you. And I feel obligated to mention to this audience that his expertise in jumping out of airplanes also translates to staying upright on the land. Someone told me recently that he is probably the first CTAF F Command Sergeant Major in about the last 15 years not to crash his bicycle. Which, which I understand is a notable accomplishment around here. And Sergeant Major, I hope that I didn't just jinx your last few rides. <laughs> but in all seriousness, these achievements are just a small sample of his service and his contribution to the Army and to this community. Command Sergeant Major Gregory also established a quarterly senior non-commissioned officer professional development forum that focuses on training and mentoring sergeants across, across our command. Uh, north and south of the Alps. He spearheaded the E3B program for Army in Europe, which consolidated the expert infantryman, expert soldier, and expert field medical badge training and, and testing. He grew the mentorships of the Sergeant Morales Club, an organization that promotes integrity, professionalism, and leadership for the enlisted force in Europe and whose members are selected through a rigorous and competitive process. His numerous achievements have laid the foundation for what CTAF-F is today and where we are headed next. Make no mistake, the best units have great Command Sergeants Major. And this great unit has been fortunate to have been led by you, by Command Sergeant Major Chuck Gregory. So Command Sergeant Major Gre Gregory, thank you for your service here. I'm, all, I'm personally grateful for your support, your mentorship of me that you have provided as, as Tracy and I have been getting settled here in Vicenza and in CTAF-F. Your deep knowledge of the command and good advice has set us up for success and we're grateful to you. I also have to thank Jeannie because you have offered, as I, as I mentioned earlier, when we presented you with an award, you have provided us a very, very warm welcome, and we're just grateful to you and wish you both all the very best. So congratulations to you and your family on a successful and, and remarkable tour of duty. And uh, I know that you've got some family watching back in the United States too, and we appreciate all their support of you and of us as we are here in Europe, suffering this, this great community in the Veneto. But I wish you all the best of luck in your next assignment. Congratulations. Please give them a round of applause. So Command Sergeant Major Tickle, our new Command Sergeant Major, good luck following all that. As you mentioned while we were standing up there, we we're supposed to be at the position of attention and not talking, but I'll let you in on a little secret. But he observed those are some pretty big shoes to fill. But I know that you're up to that task. And we welcome you and Heather to CTAF. -F. It's so good to have you here with us now. I know you're in the middle of this transition and the move, and you'll be back permanently soon. But it's really great to have you here today. So Command Sergeant Major Tuchel brings with him a wealth of knowledge and experience to the command. 30 years of service, 16 deployments in support of combat operations, including one in support of Operation Restore Hope in Somalia. The Army needs leaders who can tell our story. As the most recent Command Sergeant Major of the Security Force Assistance Command, with responsibility to support our partners nationwide. Command Sergeant Major Tickle does that as well as anybody. He's a born leader and teacher, and I've watched it firsthand. Because just as I was with Command Sergeant Major Gregory for my first jump with CTAF-F, Command Sergeant Major Tickle was also making his first jump with his command. And he was right there to help to make sure that I got it right, which turns out is pretty important. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I'm grateful to be standing here now after uh, <laughs> but I understand, uh, so this is your first assignment to, to Europe, and so things are going to be evened out a little bit after those deployments. It's, it's pretty good duty here. In so many ways, Command Sergeant Major Tickle is the perfect fit for where we are today and where we are headed. He's the right replacement, the right leader to join us at this time. Coming to us from Fort Bragg, where he served as the Command Sergeant Major for the SFAC and home to the 2nd Security Force Assistance Brigade, which currently has several Security Force Assistance teams, and some of the leaders are here with us today, serving throughout Africa. Command Sergeant Major Tickle knows well the dynamic nature of our mission here and what's at stake on the continent. I know that you're looking forward to building on what Command Sergeant Major Gregory has accomplished, his legacy here, and focusing on strengthening our partnerships in Africa and here in Europe. 
and we are in good hands. So thank you to you and to Heather for taking on this challenge, for joining us here. We're so glad that you're able to be here for the ceremony, and congratulations on your 22nd wedding anniversary just yesterday. So congratulations. Quick round of applause for the Tickles. <laughs> it's a pretty important time to be joining CTFF. We have a new national defense strategy. We have a new AFRICOM commander and a new Africa, Africa campaign plan, a new Africa campaign order. We have a new commander of U.S. Army Europe and Africa. And thanks to the work of Command Sergeant Major Gregory and others, we have a great foundation to build on and to advance our mission. So I'm excited about working with you and the possibilities that lie ahead for this community, for our Army, and for our nation. Thanks again to everyone for joining us for this ceremony and recognizing these two great leaders and their families. And just my thanks also to everybody who made this ceremony possible. Please join us one more time in congratulating the Command Sergeants Major and their families, Lions Lead. Hard to follow. I will start with, uh, I was given some good sage advice uh, over the last two and a half years uh, to our Italian host, to our Italian counterparts. I will not attempt to speak any Italian because <laughs> apparently my Tennessee Southern accent does not do very well with foreign languages. Uh, so I'll, I'll pass on that. But uh, again, I appreciate uh, you being here today. Your presence is always great for these ceremonies. So good morning and thank you for attending today's ceremony. Uh, to our distinguished guests and families, welcome and a heartfelt uh, grazie mille. That's as far as I go. Uh, this assignment and the Vicenza military community are one of my career highlights. Jeannie and I have truly enjoyed our time here in Italy and will greatly miss it, even though we get to stay a little bit longer. There are several people I'd like to thank, and I'm sure I'll miss some, uh, and for a few of these that are not here today, but first I want to give a thanks uh, to Lieutenant General retired now, uh, Cloutier, uh, for hiring me to be part of this, this great team in the community. He told me in the interview that this would be a rewarding and fulfilling assignment, and, and indeed it has been. To Lieutenant General Rowling, sir, thanks for keeping me on the team, despite being a dirty old tanker. Uh, he likes to remind me. It was always a great time to jump with you in Europe and Africa and to discuss the different bike routes in northern Italy that we would ride and try not to crash. Obviously, he did, but uh, I'll give him a little class later on how to stay upright. Uh, General Wasman, our time together has been awesome. Uh, I can't thank you enough, sir. Uh, the direction you're going to take this command will be absolutely remarkable, and I know you and Reese as a command team will, will continue to, to move, the, move it in the right direction, and I greatly appreciate that, and uh, thanks for keeping me upright on the drop zone as we landed, and uh, we're good to go. And yes, sir, I will miss jumping, Colonel Clapper, absolutely. I'll keep track of it. So it was an honor, uh, as I said, sort of be there with your first jump uh, with the 173rd, uh, despite being my last. I can say, you know, it finally hit me on the drop zone and in the pack shed, both as I was staying with the paratroopers that are there, uh, that my time here was drawing near. And as I stood in the drop zone and watched the airplanes fly across, and as I saw the paratroopers descending to the ground, it reminded me that our time is short, what we do. But I do say that my mom will be glad that I'm no longer jumping. I think I'm about an inch and a half shorter than I was 30 years ago when I joined the Army. Uh, and as you said, sir, my knee and back will definitely feel a lot better after not doing this. Uh, but I will definitely miss it. So thanks for being here today for those that traveled far and near to Vicenza, uh, two of which are our good friend from the Netherlands, Martijn. Sir, thanks for being here. It's always good to see you. Uh, and our good friend Martin from the Slovakian Special Operations Brother, it's always good to see you, man. I know you guys are busy. I know you're doing great things over there, training our partners, and I appreciate what you do. It's truly a testament that throughout our careers, especially my multiple tours in Europe, the friends we make with our partners sometimes become lasting friendships, of which I've de demonstrated today. During my time here, relationships made with teammates from Spain, Germany, Slovakia, Slovenia, and Italy, just to name a few, have demonstrated how strong our relationships are. And some of our members from the 4th Alpine are here today, and I greatly appreciate your presence. I'm honored to see several of our counterparts, as I've stated, uh, here, as well as uh, some of our U.S. counterparts. I know Marissa and uh, Summer Thresher could not be here today, but I want to send them out a thanks for supporting the CTAFAF team 
uh, throughout the past two plus years that we've both been in position. I will say to somebody who's a thresher, uh, I do appreciate his Tuesday morning uh, witty comments as he closes out the uh, commander's updates and giving good old Sage Marine Corps drill instructor advice and all of them. To Vicki and Jeremiah, thanks for being here today. Uh, I know you had a hard time leaving this job, and I now see how hard that is. Still, it's good to see you take the responsibility of you, sir, AF, CSM, and I can't thank you enough for, one, giving up this job so I can take it, uh, but two, for coming back and continue to support the community and the command and everything you guys do. For Mark Morgan, I saw you pop in for 7 ATC. Good to see you, brother. Glad you're here. And Jeremy Untashir from our friends in the Air Force, our friends in blue, uh, as we have troopers out there at Avion Air Base. Thanks for keeping us straight, and uh, thanks for supporting the team. For all the brigade and battalion command teams, past and present, you're all truly rock stars. It was never a challenge to work with you, but truly an honor to serve alongside you. And there was a, never a day I wasn't impressed with what your soldiers and paratroopers were able to accomplish. And I greatly appreciate it. To the directors and team of Sergeant Majors in the CTAF AF community, thanks for your continued support of the team and for leaning forward with the changes needed as we reshape the headquarters, reshape the community, despite some of those not being popular. Colonels Biashuti and uh, Amanda Lajane, thanks for what you do for the, for the community. Command Sergeant Major Bondielli and now Mr. Zavagno, uh, thanks again for being great battle buddies in the Italian community. i also like to take time to recognize the community leaders from Vicenza and our outlying communities that host our service members, civilians, and families who work and live here. Grazie mille. I'm sure I've missed some of you and have impact, some of you that have impacted our mission, community, and me professionally. I cannot say thank you enough, and I look forward to your continued relationship with the military community. The family and friends that may be out there in the virtual environment watching this, wish you were here and know I appreciate and know I appreciate all of your support every day. As I do. As I do what I love to, as I do what I love what I do. Uh, Jeannie, I know we don't have a job yet. Uh, we get to hang out here in Italy a little bit longer. I'm not too sad about that, uh, but I've enjoyed spending time together here in Italy and traveling to different places. Thanks for joining with me. Thanks for putting up the, with the TDYs, the long days, and most importantly, with me. I love you. As I've been reflecting on the past two and a half years serving as a CTAF CSM, I will begin my comments today where I started my assumption responsibility comments in January of 2020. I am humbled and honored to be here and serve with such a great team, and I'm ready to get after it. Wow. I think about that, get after it, we did. Through all the different events, through all the different challenges, I would not have known how much that little comment would have meant in just over 30 days in the seat. The fact that this, th this team and our predecessors accomplished many missions while partnering with and training our African counterparts during a global pandemic while keeping the community of soldiers safe. Paratroopers, families, civilians, safety was our utmost responsibility and our priority. The team led in the, in the Army's COVID response and was able to share lessons learned with garrisons communities across the globe as they also tack tackled these challenges. While ensuring the community continued to be safe, the team executed the task of transitioning the headquarters from the United States Army Africa, which was the Army Service Component Command, to the Southern European Task Force Africa, a subordinate command to the United States Army Europe and Africa. The merger brought on several tasks from certifying the headquarters as a two-star JTF capable headquarters, ADCON TRA of the 173rd Airborne Brigade. And throughout this transformation, you demonstrated the ability to understand the intent of two four-star commanders. And in that, to provide the increased responsibilities of a new shaped two-star headquarters. From working through transformation to deploying security force assistance teams across the continent while combating COVID in Italy, the CTAF, AF, and Vincenzo military community teams set the bar high and continue to strive to better the community. It is amazing how fast two years went by. It was even more impression or was even more impressive was what the team accomplished despite the distractors. I am truly humbled and honored to have worked with each and every one of you and I wish you all the best. No matter what challenge or obstacles are thrown your way, you have continued to demonstrate a willingness and an ability to overcome them. Reese and Heather, you're in a great place with a great team. Enjoy your time here. It goes fast. 
Finally, and most importantly, thanks to the troops in the field for being here today and the USRAF band. I appreciate the little extra touch of class you place in these events to keep our traditions well intact. Thanks again. Lions 7 signing off. Stronger together. Lions lead. Good morning. And it probably my limited Italian. Buongiorno. And that may be as far as I go too. <laughs> Commanders, sergeants, major, gentlemen, distinguished guests, friends, family, and those viewing from the interwebs, thank you for honoring this headquarters by spending a few moments with us today. Also, like to thank the uh, the band, likewise, Sergeant Major Inman, for being here and, and bringing them down with you. So I appreciate the support. Um, my strength. In my shield through triumph and loss, I would not hear, be here without the patience of the good Lord. Um, chaplain, thank you for that uh, blessing and also making sure that it's like 20 degrees colder or cooler than the change of command. Um, just, just goes to show you, you know, he loves the troops. <laughs> Mark, thanks for being here. Um, I'm reminded that... Uh, you know, you look out in the crowd, um, you know, re again, relationships matter. Um, but over the last three weeks, I've come to appreciate um, the old friends that you, that you run or run into or cross paths with, um, the new friends um, that, that you make, and how important those relationships are. Sir Major Inman, look forward to your mentorship as we work to strengthen our partnerships across the African continent. I know I'll appreciate your mentorship of your time being here in CTAF and, and that of the USRF headquarters. Major General Walsman, I appreciate your confidence uh, and look forward to serving in the foxhole with you over the next few years. The CTAF team, I'm super excited to join the team with such a unique opportunity to have a positive impact globally. If recent events north of the Alps tells us anything, they tell us how small the world is and hyper-focus hyper -focus us on things truly important. It's easy to see how critical our partnerships and continuing efforts to improve the security cooperation environment are to defending universal ide ideals such as sovereignty, freedom, and peace. I've already had a chance to see more than I expected in the short term that I've been here. Chuck, you used the time well. From the local installation, um, our gracious hosts here in Italy and in, in Vincenza. Uh, from Venice and Rome, I've learned that the rich tapestry of Italy is much more extraordinary than I could have expected. In three weeks, I've learned that our Italian teammates are gracious hosts and formal partners. Meeting with the SMA uh, Pellegrino here, I think, last week. Um, reinforced those points, and I'm excited to continue that leg legacy. Although, some, the grappa may be speaking some of that. Uh, thanks, everyone, for being here again uh, for your warm welcome. Um, this is going to be you know, my shot at uh, some Italian. Uh, non vita Laura. I can't wait. And finally, to my rock, Heather, my wife. Um, as as was, was mentioned previously, 22-year uh, anniversary yesterday. Couldn't have been here without her. Um, <clears throat> this is why it's later. <clears throat> as uh, uh, she keeps me grounded, she's the you know the rock, um, and uh, and I couldn't do it without you, baby. I love you, Chuck. Again, Jeannie. It's been a pleasure to get to know you. I've known Chuck for a while, um, but it's been a pleasure to get to know you um, and appreciated everything in transition um, and the things that you've done for me getting here and getting integrated in the CTAF team. Thank you very much. I wish you the best of luck. I know that uh, wherever you go, you'll bring um, a lot of good things to the organization um, that you go to. Um, to the formation that's out on the field. 
You guys look great. Uh, I look forward to being your teammate. Um, Lions lead. I almost said it. Lions eat first, but Lions lead. <laughs> Strike together. Retired colors. Congratulations, Sergeant Major. Take charge of the command. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. Please form a line at the reviewing stand to congratulate Command Sergeant Major Gregory and his family, and then join Command Sergeant Major Tickle and his family for a reception in the pavilion. Thank you for your attendance.